intuition peaks before the eclipse okay and this is a little impromptu weekly y'all okay i'm coming to you from my bathtub yes 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 all right and i didn't have much time but i was like well i'm taking a bath i might as well hit you know two birds with one stone okay relax and also get the weekly out for you guys okay um honestly this entire week has such a neptunian influence that this weekly, honestly, is giving you the, those Neptunian vibes, okay? Um, Neptune is the, the planet of fantasy, of dreams, of fogginess, of deception, of spirituality, of everything that goes in opposition to the logical, okay? Neptune dissolves and decays anything that we can understand, so he basically makes us rely on our intuition, okay? He's our dreams, he is, you know, our visions for ourselves, he is so much, Okay, and at the end of the week, he is going to be moving direct. He has been retrograde since the 22nd of June and will be moving forward at th this weekend. But like I always say, anytime a planet is stationed and either going retrograde or direct, their energy is super, super strong. Okay, so this entire week, we're feeling him so strong. And currently, the moon is conjunct Neptune right now, actually, in Pisces. Mercury is also forming a beautiful trine to Neptune and the moon from Scorpio, okay? And I'm really feeling this Neptune transit of the shifting from retrograde to direct. Um, and so it's super, super Neptunian. <laughs> I've taken, a nap, like, two naps already today. It's insane. I'm, I, this is my second bath, okay? Um, I really feel the need to just be in water and just be in, in, in a surrendered place, okay? Sleeping or relaxing in the bath. Um... It's such a very Piscean, Neptunian energy. Okay, one second. And so I'm just going to come in, drop quick tea for you for the weekly, and then get back to relaxing. Okay. Um, but I do feel it's necessary to get this message out, though. And I felt, the ne it, I felt a good feeling. I might as well do it right now. Okay. And so basically this week, guys, is so many interactions with Mercury. But Mercury's in Scorpio. Okay, and this means that, you know, this is a very deep um, probing and analytical focus for us, okay? Um, we're not just looking things up, we're really looking things up. Uh, Mercury and Scorpio is also like the detective, okay? Um, but it also, <laughs> excuse me, um, all this coffee, there must be some people that need to speak up and need something they need to say, okay? So this Mercury and Scorpio also is... A lot of people must have a lot of things they're, they're hiding um, or feelings they're hiding or, um, you know, things they want to reveal or questions that they have within, but they're keeping it in, okay? Um, this is the time to really put you, it's sad season now, even though Mercury and Venus are still in Scorpio, giving it a still kind of a, a dark focus, it's sad season. So it's about using all of this transformative energy we've had the past 30 days to move forward, okay, and to have the Phoenix moment the next 30 days, okay? It's about resurrecting yourself and push into the new year, okay? Um, and so release those things. If, you you know, there's something you need to say or, if you, you know, it's not necessarily that you have to say it to someone, but process it and release it, okay? Release those emotions. Um, you know, if there's anything you want to express, excuse me, you know, get it out, y'all. Uh-uh, because I wasn't even coughing before this video. <coughs> Get it out, get it out. Um, also, if there, what else could it be? If there's something you're confused about, you don't necessarily, you know, you need more guidance with something. I'm not saying getting a reading, but 
reach out to someone, okay, ask for guidance or, or look it up, you know, you know, there, there, there's a lot of congested throat chakra right now in the collective, okay, um, but this, this week, the majority of the alignments are with Mercury, okay, all about our thinking, our communication process, so it makes sense, and I really feel like we're going to be processing that and moving through it this week, okay, literally the music, the song playing now is Wave. Um, which is all about relaxation and following the flow. So maybe that can inspire you. That is Waves by Hayden Calvin. I love them. Um, but again, this Neptunian vibe, Waves. Neptune rules over the ocean, you know, so... Um, it's time to release these things, surrender, you know, and, and I feel like there's a lot of blockage right now. And look, as, as the color turns to the blue, which is all throat chakra, okay? Um, and so that wouldn't mean what I meant to speak on, but this week, literally, Mercury's going to sextile Pluto, okay, which is going to be really deep and revealing, because Mercury's in Scorpio, and Pluto rules over Scorpio. So secrets are going to be coming out. We're really going to be able to dive deep and understand certain things. Um, from a new perspective, um, you know, if you have any questions or you are looking for, you know, researching anything, this is the perfect week for that, okay? Planning, organizing, the perfect week, and it's going to be in an intuitive way. You know, Scorpio is detective, but it's like they're, they're, come, they're moving from intuition, okay, which is why it's so accurate. Um, and so that's a lot of the focus this week is gaining a lot of mental clarity, a lot of mental understanding, Anything hidden within yourself or within your surroundings, bringing that to light. Um, healing anything within. It has to come out to be healed, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I want to mention the purpose of all this mental shifting and all this intuition that's going to be happening this week, all this Neptunian energy helping us to see like what is real and what is you know not real in our life, what we've been believing that's actually not even true. This Neptune retrograde, right at the end of it, really does that. It really reveals any any more illusions you've been missing, okay? Anything deluding you that you've been missing, okay? And so we're getting the chance to get clarity this week through our intuitive understanding mainly with all this Neptunian, Pisces, Scorpio, Mercury, you know, all this energy. This is very water. So gaining more intuition, and also maybe taking baths, you know, this could help you by being in water to channel the energy of the water to increase your intuition, but let me just continue on, a little tangent there, a um, little tip, you know, um, but really what I'm seeing this as, though, is the opportunity to gain clarity from listening to our emotions, processing them, and then fully moving forward, or tapping in through divination, tapping in through other spiritual tools, listening, using music, okay, spiritual things, okay, connecting with other people in your dreams, pay attention to your dreams this week, they're going to be very, very, very important, um, especially with Neptune, you know, stationing this whole entire week, um, really pay attention to your the messages in your dreams, um, or even just how you're reacting in your dreams, you know, I've been having certain dreams recently, and it's not that the activities in the dreams are important. It's just how my demeanor is in the dreams. It's way different than it used to be. I used to have all these anxious dreams, and now I'm just, like, having fun and, like, enjoying myself, which is a really good sign, okay? And it says a lot about the healing of the subconscious that I've been doing, okay? Um, and all the subconscious work and all that good stuff, okay? And so pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to, um, you know, the messages of spirit. There's been so many. I found a blue leaf as the light turns blue again. A blue leaf yesterday, like, randomly, okay? And I was like, what? Like, how did this even, like, what is this, okay? Um, and it was the only blue leaf in the hole. I was walking to the park, so there's a lot of leaves on the ground, literally just blue leaf, you know? I found a white feather. It was just a lot, there's a lot of symbolism coming through, um, you know, coming through. Um, I just got the meaning of the blue leaf. I literally was thinking, oh, my God, the leaf fell on the ground. It's fall time. So it's about, and look at the light turning blue again, it's about the, there's a releasing of one way of how I express myself and communicated and thought, and now a new, a new way of doing that is coming in, okay? So that literally just came into me as I was channeling this, so I just, you know, when I get into these videos, my intuition gets really open, so I'm able to understand a lot more, um, but I guess since I brought that up, it like gave me the answer, so it makes sense, <laughs> excuse me. 
so pay attention to those things, you know. Spirit is really sending messages <coughs> excuse me. Um, to help release whatever is stuck in y'all's throat, okay? Um, or whatever you're nervous about, or whatever is kind of as still within that needs to be released fully. There's something that needs to fully be released, okay? Um, because, you know, Mercury sextiles Pluto this week, and it sextiles Jupiter, okay? Um, it's trining Neptune right now. All these things, you know, the sextile to Jupiter is going to help expand our mind. Whatever you're focused on, you're going to get an opportunity to expand on it, okay? This is toward the end of the week, okay? This is going to be on Friday, I believe. And this is the perfect day as well to do vision, to do vision board work um, because you can have a very expansive understanding. You know, Scorpio energy can really zoom in and, and be very pensive and look at the details. And then Jupiter is about the big picture, so you get both understandings. So really great day for that. Um, again, Mercury sets out Pluto right before that, okay, midweek. Mercury is currently trining Neptune, so you're getting a lot of intuitive understanding, okay? Wash your dreams in the beginning of the week, again, like I said before. Um, and then the only other thing aside from Neptune turning direct, and all this mainly before I say this last thing, is to prepare our minds, get us the understanding we need for the lunar eclipse in Gemini, which is happening on this Monday coming up, okay? And I feel like I'll make an eclipse video or something or a post or something about this lunar eclipse coming up, because it's going to be a, a clearing of a lot of our old way of thinking, a clearing of a lot of mental patterns, a clearing of a lot of connections, okay, with people, a clearing of a lot of ways of communicating and expressing ourselves. Um, really, a lot of people are going to be expressing and vocalizing things around this lunar eclipse to getting things out into the fresh air. Um, there could be a lot of arguments as well as the lunar eclipse has been building for the past six months, okay? Um, and so, you know, it's really going to be um, a resetting of our mind and getting us prepared for the future, okay? A lot of information is going to be coming out at this time. I'm literally starting a herbal course at this time, and so it makes sense that, like, you know, it's a whole mental reset, a whole new thing of information is going to be coming in for me after this. Um, and so this whole week is about getting your mind set, getting your mind ready, um, focusing your mind, getting the intuition you need, getting the insights you need. And then the last um, aspect is being this opposite Uranus, okay? Uranus brings sudden shifts. So this could be sudden shifts in relationships, finances, your values. But it's always for the highest good, and Uranus rules over intuitive knowledge, okay? And so, this week, you know, is really going to be very shocking, lots of information, but again, it's all this information, all this intuition, all this mental focus to prepare us for the mental lunar eclipse in Gemini, okay? So that's what I have, guys. I just wanted to drop that real quick for you guys, okay? Um, if you want a personal session with me, I have the 21, I'm sorry, 2021 preparation readings I really... Um, love them. I've been doing a lot of them recently to help people get into the new year. Um, check out my website. The link is in my bio. That's what I have. Give the video a like. Comment below. I'll talk to you later. Deuces.